Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest V. I managed to land on this spot. Uh, the spot that lets us pick the uh, number that we want to roll. So let's go ahead and consult the dice. Or the map. So we want uh, one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So that's what we need. Uh, I did also get into the uh, uh, the treasure trove area, um, and I managed to get 56 seconds. Uh, allowed me to clear out the entirety of room four. Uh, so I did get. Let's see. A, according to the fact, a total of 55,000. I mean, 5,590 gold coins, a cobra claw, a falcon blade, king coral's catechism, two mini medals, two TNT tickets, and an item not listed: a rebirth stone. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Um, I will take a look at that after we uh, finish up here. So, uh, I need a 5. So let's go ahead and roll. Okay. Sway! I was not expecting to go that way, but... All right, we can't look at that, but uh, we should be able to fall down here. Whee! Right in here. What do we get? Ald examines the treasure chest. What a mini medal! Nobody acquires a mini medal. Ald examines the treasure chest. What a TNT free pass! This is what I was thinking of. Um, I just thought it was through the uh, tombola. Bianca acquires the TNT free pass, so we never need to use TNT tickets ever again. Ald examines the treasure chest. What's the Sands of Time? Bianca acquires the Sands of Time. All right, so the Sands of Time uh, let you, you know, in battle, they can reverse time itself. So basically just resets the battle. Um, let's go ahead and transfer this into the bag. Celebrities receive the right to play TNT to their heart's content. Considering that you don't have to buy TNT tickets, it's kind of weird that uh, you'd have something like this. But um, for now, we want to give this to probably the slowest person, which I think is going to be Nameless. Okay, so uh, what we picked up... Uh, I did get an, an extra Yggdrasil Leaf. Uh, I got the extra Cobra Claw. claw. Uh, equip the Super Swift Sword to strike twice in a single turn. Let's go ahead and give this to Ald. Swap out the uh, Cobra Claw. Um, so the Rebirth Stone, a powerfully profitable pebble to have in hand of times of trouble. I don't actually know what that does. Nifty Nightwear for soldiers who are spoiling for a scrap even in their sleep. Let's go ahead and use the Seed of Magic on... Yeah, I'll use it on Nameless. 5 MP, that's good. Uh, thinking Cap. Alright, well it's disappointing who can actually use this. Well, I'll just put it back in the bag. Alright. Okay. That's fine. All right, well, we are done here. I have three copies of King Coral's Catechism now. I don't know what they're used for, if anything. So let's make our way up here. I will probably eventually uh, go back and try to get some of the other items. Uh, but for now, we've got uh, Gigantes. I'll go with a Kassizzle. And a Kakrackle. Alright, well, finally took one out. Ow, ow. Go ahead and use the Sage of Stone. And the Staff of Salvation on all. We need some more hit points. 
Ald needs more MP as well. But we'll get those eventually. 1710 experience points. 2010 gold coins. Or 210 gold coins, not 2010. <laughs> Eh, black Flames is fine. The statue is smiling in a way that makes the party feel very uneasy. Now, I do believe if we zoom... We now have Mount Zugzwang here. So, we can go someplace else and rest. Let's get all to ha get have full... Uh, MP, shall we? That seems like a good idea. Uh, be here if it makes me feel all sleepy for some reason. Look at all those flowers. The sky and the sea are really pretty here, too. I'm as out of a place at an abbey as a slime would be in a quarry. Have you got a bit of a thing for the graceful souls that hang out in these kinds of places, though, all? Uh, no, I just wanted to use the, uh, the free bed. That's all. Thank you. Another beautiful day outside. <laughs> you say so. All right, and now we shall actually, you know what? I should be zooming with uh, you because you will get those that MP back. Mount Zugzwang. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure that there's anything off the to the sides. Uh, I suppose I should look. I don't think so. Can't turn the screen, so uh, let's just go. Let's go ahead and use Kijikun's uh, safe passage. So we can cross all this gunk. I don't think there's anything on this level either, but uh, we've got more Gigantes. Go ahead and attack you guys. That's fine. Nice dodge, Bianca. Ow. Start using that, though. Get some healing back. Do you mind... It is a little cheesy to just use this to heal up the one person who's been injured, but still. Seems like a good idea to me. <laughs> Alright, up we go. Ah, I got some pots over here. Hmm, well, what goodies will we find inside? Oh no, the pot is actually a fright urn! Not an urn expected. I'm a little bit disappointed. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and equip this. And attack, 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 attack. Well. Okay. You're really not uh, being very effective here, ladies. So I'll just heal up a little bit. I mean, I'll take the one point of damage anyway. It'd still be great if that was what ended up killing one of these things, but... Can we use Kasap? No one has Sap. 150? Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Don't you chuckle. There we go. 
250 experience points. 158 gold coins. No items, though. Oh no, the pot is actually a fry turn! Who would have expected? Not us, because it was unexpected! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. Now we can deal some real damage. Even Bianca's doing a uh, good amount. Oh, and we get a critical hit. Nice. Hey, I got a mini medal out of that one. A little bit annoyed that I didn't get a mini medal out of the other one, but... All right, we got some Pazuzus and a Mandrake Marshall. Ow. Not too worried about Kasap right now. There we go. Nice and dead. Alright, let's keep going up. Uh, let's see. Now, I think I'm going to have two choices to go here, so... Let's take the route that leads us to goodies. Some Hyper Animons. Well, let's go ahead and equip that. Use the Sage's Stone. Heal up a bit. I mean, I do like that it affects people in the uh, the wagon, on the one hand. On the other hand, I, I kind of wish it didn't. Don't you curse me. Looks like those curses immediately ended. So if you can't use Sheen in battle, what's the point? I mean, it's like good for that one single time when we get that story curse? Really? That seems kind of weird. Uh, whatever. Sage of Stone again. Also, I want to point out that Pazuzu, uh, these Pazuzus are, are missing the, the beak. Uh, the bird beak, the bird head of the true Pazuzu, which bothers me. Hello, treasure chest. What do you have inside? I'll examine the treasure chest. What a dark robe! Bianca acquires the dark robe! Is that uh, good for anyone? Uh, no one in the party. I'm sensing really something really sinister lying in wait for us, but I can also feel a benevolent force in the air. Not long now, Ald. It won't be long before we find your moment last. Hang on a minute, what floor are we on now? Floor Nay. Of course, these are also missing something else which shall remain nameless. Not you nameless, though. Something else. The 
it's really nice to have the uh, uh, an item to completely heal up, though. Well, not completely heal up, but heal up quite a bit. Yeah, I'll keep using it. I mean, as long as we're taking some damage, might as well. It doesn't cost any MP. Crackle, Rude. Ouch! Alright, well that definitely did even out uh, the damage that uh, Bianca and Ellie were taking, sort of. Bianca's level increases to 36. 5 hit points, 14 MP, 1 strength, 2 agility and wisdom, 6 luck, and 0 resilience. 336 gold coins. It's really the lack of a shield, a good shield, that's uh, doing her in there. Hmm, what do I want to get rid of? I think I want to get rid of the uh, Pazuzus the most. Is that gonna... Wow, that even, uh... Hmm. Don't use magic, huh? Well, tactics. Whole party. Follow orders. Thank you. Okay. Keep doing this. Keep using that. Keep going after that. You go after that. So it's not blocking that from... You dinks. Ellie defends, Nameless defends. Ah. Follow orders, come on. At least Bianca had already gotten the Sage's st stone off. Cursed and unable to move. I suppose that was a thing. 2,292 experience points. It's not too shabby. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and head down uh, this way. Ugh, more of you guys. Well, not too worried about you. you just have... Bianca attack, then. I suppose I could Kasap these guys. Ow! Was not really expecting them to have Kakrackle. Oh, and they aren't affected. Lovely! Maybe I should oomph instead. Well, they're dead now. That's the important thing. That worked out pretty well. Go with a kabuff right now. And can we go with an oomph on all? Let's do that. Nice. Ouch! Holy cow! Staff of Salvation, please.
There we go. Some more healing for you. Whew. Man. They can hit hard. <laughs> Up we go. Alright. Where does this actually take me now? Uh, there. Um, hmm. I am unsure where that has taken me. Game? Uh, tell me where where we are. I guess I'll wander around. <laughs> Ah, okay. Now I know where I am. Kind of weird. Alright, well, anyway, uh, let's see. We are going to have some goodies around, so let's go get one of those first. Get some bridges and stuff. Well, that bridge is out. Snake Handler, uh, Lick of Flame, and Hyper Anima. Go ahead and use the Sage's Staff again to uh, heal up Ellie. I don't actually know what's worse. We'll go out to the Hyper Animal. Ow. There we go. You know what? I, I think that for now, I am going to change the lineup a bit. Um, let's bring Percy out. Just try to have these end a little bit faster. Well, some great dragons. Of course, I'm not going to be getting any healing, but... That's okay. I can use Gawain to heal. His MP isn't going to be used for much else. Percy takes a crap ton of damage from these guys. Don't you call for backup? At least I'll get some extra experience out of this. Wow, 3,240 experience points. Sancho's level increases to 36, 6 hit points, 2 MP, uh, 1 strength and wisdom, 0 agility, luck, or resilience. 632 uh, gold coins. Is this the top of the mountain? It's bigger than I expected. Of course, I'm not going to get any uh, party talk out of them. Gawain will be fine for a little while. Alright, what do we have here? Alt examines the treasure chest. Bought an ogre shield. Nameless acquires the ogre shield. This shield can reduce damage from fire and ice-based attacks. Ald, Gawain, and Sancho can equip it. Okay, uh, that is not better than the Metal King Shield. That is a little bit better than the Dark Shield. And it's a fair bit better than the Tempest Shield. So we'll go ahead and equip it on Sancho. I think that might be the best shield that Sancho can equip. And we've got a Drakenstein. Let's go after that. I don't trust it. 
Oh, eliminates all magical effects. Wow, Gawain is actually taking a lot of damage now, which is unusual. One hundred seventy two damage from uh, Percy. Very nice. Way to go, Percy. All right, some Lick of Flames. We'll just uh, fight them. All right. Um, all right we're going to want to take a little detour to the north. First, for those uh, that staircase, there's uh, an item there. Alt examines the treasure chest. What a mini metal! Nobody acquires the mini metal! <laughs> and I do believe I have to go in here. <laughs> that is an interesting looking place over there. All right, more Drakensteins, Snake Handler, Lick of Flame. Let's knock out you guys first. Or at least try to. Nice. Getting a lot of experience points in here, though. That's pretty amazing. It'll probably end up being a really good place to grind. Oh! Who goes there? Madeleine is offering up a prayer to her exalted Grandmaster Nimzo. He who dares disturb her will pay a hefty price. Will we, though? It's just snake handlers. Hey, someone's going up a level. Gawain's level increases to 40. Four hit points, two MP, two strength, one agility, luck, and wisdom, zero resilience, 220 gold coins. Ald. Ald. The party notices a warm light enveloping them. Oh my. Feels pretty good. Hi, Mom. How's it, do how's it going? Ah, uh, Ald, you are... you really are here. I cannot begin to tell you how much I've longed to see you again, son. Not a day has gone by since I was snatched away that I haven't thought about you. Ald, you've grown up to be so big and strong. Being able to meet with you at last is like a dream come true. Now I can die happy. What do you mean, die happy? You're... Do you have the cancer? Ald... Grandmaster Nimzo's powers are stronger than you can possibly imagine. I must do all I can to seal his evil away, even if it means giving my life to do so. I'm pretty sure I could fight him. Almighty Goddess, please hear my prayer. Oh, that's not good. Was that Laja? Oh, I am going to rip your face off. <laughs> I am thinking not. Your duty is the opening of door for Great Grandmaster Nimzo. Never minding. It is always extremely touching to observe love and a uh, parent for child, after all. So, the time is at last upon us. Alden, your dear companions. Not to forgetting the cheeky little legendary hero also in our midst. 
Here is where all your sweet dreams are being extinguished. Grandmaster Nimzo is no longer requi requirementing powers of your mother. So now I am sending parent and child together into eternal world of darkness. It is touching yet. Mm. I was not actually expecting to uh, have a boss fight right here. So I think I'm going to cliffhanger it. And when we come back next time, we'll see what we can do about taking care of Laja. Hopefully, hopefully, for the last time. See you then, everyone.